I was born into a restaurant. Uh, I started working for my father when I was 12 years old. But then I was like the proper like Asian boy, you know? I went to school, uh, went for my biology degree, and then started to pursue uh, medical. But I just got, I got bored of it. So I dropped out of med school and finally decided that it was time to focus back onto cooking. In Toronto, uh, there's a huge like Punjabi population, right? Yeah. So we grew up eating a lot of this Hakka Chindian food. What, what do you call it? Hakka. Chindian? Yeah. You, you call it Chindian? Yeah, because it's a perfect mix of Ch Chinese, Chinese Indian. Indian. Yeah. Wow, Chindian. Yes. I love this word. Chindian. <laughs> Bastion is successful because we try to showcase the, the fantastic quality of this local seafood while using a lot of modern techniques and flavors. So now, we're going to challenge you to recreate your favorite date dessert. I can't cook. Well, we'll see though. So, I'll actually give you some instructions and we'll see how well you can follow and we'll give you points for every time you can do something right. So whenever I create a dish, um, it has to have sweet, salty, spicy, bitter, all sorts of flavors um, because I find that a lot of dishes get very boring. And this is where the interest comes from. So I like to have different textures, different colors, um, all on the plate, because I want every bite to be different, yet tasty, but also interesting. So eating spicy food like chilies, there's a rush, because essentially you're burning your taste buds. Right. So the adrenaline that comes through it, it's an addiction. So you just keep going for hotter and hotter and hotter. So what are we gonna cook? Uh, so we're gonna do a Szechuan peppercorn, black pepper uh, snapper. Yum, sounds delicious. Where's this come from? Where's um, this uh, so dish come from? I mean, the inspiration for the dish is something that my dad used to do at his okay. restaurants. Every single person has some sort of memory of eating mac and cheese. Yeah, mine is the, you know, broke days from New York, out of a box. First, coming out as a line cook, you either decide either you pay rent or you eat. And the only things you can afford are things like mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, yeah. So this is you are walk number one. Yes, I love this is that. Flashback <laughs> to my childhood years. I love the idea of this young expat chef, you know, with a multicultural background, cooking something really interesting in a city like Mumbai. The impression that I had when I met him was that he just likes to cook for people. He wants to cook for you, and that is what it is all about.